Whether it's done by the day, by the week, or just once a month, meal planning presents the homemaker with her best opportunities to express her talent. And today's modern world offers the widest variety, the greatest selection, and the most delicious possibilities imaginable. Most meals start with an idea, usually an idea about meat. It's hard to beat the sizzling aroma of lamb chops. Or what about meatloaf? with a fresh twist called lamb loaf. And lamb shish kebabs will bring real life to an evening on the patio. Has your family tried lamb stew lately? Make plenty because it's good as a leftover dish too. Also, there's an unlimited selection of delicious roasts like this leg of lamb. Or this tempting rolled shoulder roast. And even this, the gourmet's choice, the Royal Crown Lamb Roast. All are available at your market throughout the year. For a satisfying combination of economy, variety, quality, and palatable pleasure, remember there's nothing like lamb. The variety is almost endless. Roast lovers will find many delicious lamb cuts that roast superbly. The leg, for example, is more than just a leg of lamb. Your meat man can provide you with a long leg and you'll be able to serve lamb sirloin roast and a leg of lamb roast. And the loin section produces the delicious tender loin chops. This portion of the lamb produces the rack roast and when two or three are used, the result is the crown roast. This, called the breast section, produces riblets and spare ribs. The shoulder section provides familiar round bone and blade bone chops, the square shoulder roast, and the rolled and tied shoulder roast. One of the delightful things about lamb is that preparation of nearly all roasts is almost identical. This rolled shoulder roast can be purchased ready to cook at your meat market. All you need do is place it on a rack in a shallow roasting pan, sprinkle it lightly with salt and pepper, and insert the meat thermometer. It's ready to roast. One of the secrets of cooking successfully with lamb is the use of low heat. Almost all of the lamb roasts should be cooked at 325 degrees for about 30 minutes per pound. But to be safe, to make certain that your roasts are cooked properly, use an accurate meat thermometer. When it registers 170 degrees, the meat will be done, but a bit rare. Use the thermometer even when lamb is cooked on a barbecue grill. You'll like the results. Other cuts of lamb you'll enjoy preparing as well as eating include the leg roast. Remember, ask for the long leg. You'll have a sirloin roast for another festive meal on another day. All you need to do is to wrap it in a good grade freezer paper, tape it, and it can be stored for nearly as long as you wish until you need it. But fresh lamb should be cooked as soon as possible, and preparing it is always a simple matter. All high-quality lamb has a smooth covering of pinkish-white fat, over which is a thin, paper-like covering called the fell. Under most conditions, it should not be removed from any roast. It helps the cut hold its shape and retain the natural juices for a better-tasting roast. When inserting the thermometer, be sure not to let the bulb touch the bone or rest in fat. Then, cook in a slow oven at no more than 325 degrees until the thermometer registers 170 to 180 degrees, depending on your taste and preference.
stew meat comes from the breast section and the shank end of the leg, and lamb stew is an old friend at any dinner table. To prepare stew, brown the lamb cubes carefully in a small amount of cooking oil and add your favorite combination of vegetables. Cover the pan tightly and simmer. Mmm, better fix plenty because the stimulating aroma of lamb stew does something exciting to the appetite. It'll be a surprise if you have any left, but if you do, good for lamb. Leftover lamb stew is good reheated or as a new dish in disguise. One of the favorite leftover dishes is lamb pot pie. While the stew is warming in a 450 degree oven, prepare the biscuits. Then add the biscuits to the top of the bubbling stew and bake for about 20 minutes. Results? A perky new dish from a dependable old favorite. Other use again lamb dishes include cold sliced lamb sandwiches, great for lunchbox excitement. And for a hot meal, without that warmed over taste, how about hot lamb sandwiches? made with last night's main dish and piping hot, rich lamb gravy. Curries and many casserole dishes can also be made with leftover lamb. For other quick to fix, economical lamb meals, try one of the many possibilities with ground lamb. Lamb burgers with all the trimmings will go a long way to satisfy the most critical group of guests. And an economical, always tasty lamb loaf will suit your family fine any evening of the month. To prepare lamb loaf, just add minced onions, dry breadcrumbs, a little evaporated or fresh milk, and seasoning to a pound of ground lamb. Preheat the oven to 325 degrees while you mix these ingredients in a medium-sized bowl. Then shape into four individual rectangular loaves and bake. They'll be done in about 40 minutes. When served with curried peas or your favorite vegetable, you'll find the taste deliciously different and a favorite to add to your recipe box. One ground lamb dish may be new to you. It's called the Scotch Roast and combines ground lamb with a whole breast of lamb. Seasoned to taste, the ground lamb is stuffed into a pocket in the breast of lamb and it may be baked or you might like to freeze it, then slice for broiling. Tempting? Of course, all lamb is. But experiment with lamb in any of your favorite meals, like a party dish of special lamb spaghetti sauce. The spicy taste and zesty aroma come from a combination of lamb, tomatoes, garlic, onion, and oregano. It's easy to prepare. Just brown the meat, add the spicy mixture of herbs and vegetables, and let it simmer for about 45 minutes. Then surprise the spaghetti with a new sauce. And you'll be surprised at the wide variety of lamb available at your market. Most cuts are in the cooler, but when you're ready for a special cut, your meat man can have it for you in a few minutes. It takes special skill to prepare cuts like the famous crown roast. Two or three rack roasts are bent outward and stitched together to form the crown. And be sure to request French rib ends for a special touch by you in your own kitchen. Again, preparation of lamb, 
even the most elaborate dish is very simple. As with the other roasts, just sprinkle the crown with salt and pepper. Place a good meat thermometer between the ribs and roast with your favorite dressing. Bake the dressing in a separate moisture holding foil at the same 325 degree temperature. About 30 minutes before the roast is done, fill the crown with stuffing. Return it to the oven and wait for the thermometer to reach 170 to 175 degrees for medium doneness or 180 degrees for a well done roast. When the desired temperature has been reached, remove the roast and place it in a warm spot in the kitchen. Let it stand for approximately 15 or 20 minutes. This gives the meat a chance to firm up. It'll make carving much easier and it gives you time to take care of the last minute details of your dinner. Cooking lamb is fun, and the rules are simple. Roast at 325 degrees, and for best results, use a meat thermometer with a final temperature between 170 and 180 degrees. Season to your own taste, and cook all the varieties of lamb to suit any occasion and the most selective tastes. Cook indoors or on the barbecue grill. Cook more than enough stew because it makes such good second meals. And trust your meat man. He knows plenty about meat. When you call, dinner's ready. Serve the modern meat, lamb. Thank you.